In this video, we're going to cover dynamic scatter plots. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Let's head over to Tableau. All right, we're now here in Tableau and we've got the Superstore data set. And the only thing I've changed is just gotten rid of heaps of the extra fields because we are going to be doing a lot of calculations and this is just to keep things clean, okay? So all I've left are these four measures, all right? And then these locations. So let's begin with a standard scatter plot. So let's say, uh, you know, every scatter plot you need two measures. So I'm going to bring quantity and sales and then we need some sort of granularity. And for this one, let's say state. All right, so we're going to drop that into detail, right? Uh, maybe something different, something with a bit of spread, right? This is just to show it. All right, so I've got a scatter plot, pretty standard. Now, if my manager or, you know, someone I'm working with or a client I'm building for goes, well, I don't want to see sales versus profit. I also want to see discount versus quantity or profit versus sales. Well, if there are four combinations here, Right, then the maximum number of combinations I'm going to have is, well, 4 by 4, so 16 minus itself. So that's 12 visualizations I have to build, which is a lot, right? Because if they ask me to change things, I have to change all of them. So one thing you can do is make use of parameters and formulas so that there's a switch here that they can press that can control what fields are used for each dimension, right? And then also to control the granularity of it. So basically, a switch to say use region, country, region, state, province, city, whatever it is they want to do. So there's, it requires some building, but I'm going to walk you through step by step. I'm going to go really slowly. So the first thing we have to do is build a parameter, right? And we're going to build three parameters. The first one is the x axis, the second is the y axis, and the third one is the detail inside. So how many times the points are going to split. So we're going to right click here, create parameter. Let's call this x axis param. We're going to go string and then we're going to go list. And the values we're going to type in are these ones here. And you have to type them out exactly the same, right? So these are the ones we want to be able to choose from. And so we're just going to type those in exactly the same. So discount right, and sales. All right, great. Step one done and go OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this because it's exactly the same thing for the y axis. So we're going to right click, duplicate. We're just going to rename it. Let's call this Y axis param, right? And then the last thing we're going to make is the detail. So we're going to go create parameter. Let's call this detail param. I like to call it param just so I don't get confused. Uh, sometimes you can call it similar, something similar in the measure. So param just helps me not get confused. I'm going to go string list so same thing and we're going to this time write these four out all right so exactly the same spelling country region province and city all right and we just go okay easy all right parameters on their own don't do anything so we need to connect it to a formula so we're going to do the first one and we're going to go x access formula Okay, and we're going to use the case function. So case, case, if you're not sure, it's really just like a glorified else if function, but just it's structured a little bit uh, more simply. Okay, so case, we're going to do x axis, right? So we're going to bring the parameter in, and then we're going to go when x param is equal to discount. So we're going to put it in quotes, right? Then we want it to extract the discount value. Like so. And then what I like to do is I press enter, hold shift, press up, and that highlights the row above. And I can copy, control C, control V, 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 until I have four, because we've got four combinations. Great. And then I'm just going to rename these profit, quantity, and sales. All right. That's discount. This is profit. This is quantity, and the last one is sales. Great, and then we have to close it off, so end. Great, there's not gonna be a, an else part in this, so we're just going to go okay. We can duplicate this for the y-axis, so go duplicate, All right? We're going to go edit. We're just gonna rename this y-axis formula. Great, and the only thing we have to change in here is this part. 
right, to now point to the y-axis, hey, uh, to the y-axis parameter. Right? My friend Su Jin, if she's watching this, will laugh because I just said that. It's a very Asian thing to say. Hey, uh, okay, y-axis param, and then go OK. All right. Now, if there's any Asians out there, just write in the comment. Hey, uh, that'll be pretty cool. All right, so now that we've got the formulas uh, inbuilt there, let's bring out these parameters. Oh, actually, sorry, we're missing the detail parameter. Let's do the last one. Create calculated field, detail formula. Okay, same thing, case. We're going to bring detail param in here. We're going to go when region, then region. Okay, do that four times. Okay, we need country, region here. State, province. The last one is city. Okay, we reset these country, region, state, province, city, okay, and, and that's it. Okay, so we've got those formulas. Now we're going to bring these parameters in because this is where, where we're going to be like interacting. Okay, so bring them in. And the reason I bring these in because I want to so I want to see what the default value is to begin with. So the x axis can be let's say sales, the y axis can be profit. And then the detail parameter, we'll stick it with region. Okay, and we can bring these formulas in now. So we can go x-axis into the columns, y-axis into the rows. Okay, so we've got that single point there. And then the detail is going to be this detail formula. All right? And if we add a label, all right, you can see central, north, south. If I click this button, I can actually increase the granularity, all right? But um, to help with this kind of visualization, you can actually go to Format at the top and click on Animations. And this is a new feature, so I think you do need one of the latest versions. I think 2020.2 at least uh, from memory. So we're going to hit On. And the reason we do that is so that when I click on Region, there's a bit of an animation there. So you can kind of see how the data is changing. So you can see Country and Region, State and Province, right? Uh, I'll leave it at country or region. And let's say, you know, the person analyzing goes, well, I want to see discount, right? So I go discount, and you can see it's constantly changing. And they can do what's called a what if analysis. So what if this is equal to profit, uh, discount? What if this is equal to profit? What if this is city, right? And it gives your users a lot of control to actually investigate the data set. Now, you can add way more things to this. It's not just uh, applicable to scatter plots. You can also do a parameter for the size of the bubbles. You can do it for maps. You can do it for bars. You can do it, you can do it for all sorts of things. And if you have some ideas, drop them in the comment. I'd love to hear like different possibilities you guys can think of. Um, if you enjoyed this video, drop me a like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm a lot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, bye.